6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Why am I in the same shirt as last show, you ask? Well, because I've been standing here the whole time just waiting for the show to begin, and now it's beginning. Hello. How well do you guys think you know people? What we're about to find out, Raise the Bar, is happening right now. I'm your host, Michael Dietz. Get ready to cozy up to your fellow peers because you can win cash simply by predicting what they think, and you're all going to start with 500 points. Yes, we're so generous. 500 points. Hold on to them as long as you can. I'll some questions, whether it's hypothetical, debatable, or just plain crazy. Then after everyone weighs in, you'll then try to guess how others answered by raising your bar to a percentage between zero and 100. The closer you are to the actual answer, the more points you keep. And today we're giving away $200. 200. It's time to see how well you know others and yourself. The bar is open. I've officially opened the bar. We have a new category today. We have some fun stuff mixed in here. It's going to be a fun show. Happy Monday. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Let's take a peek. Uh, Vol Elite. Hey, DT. Those other trivia apps are, be uh, are better than this one. April Fool's. Ah, I see what you did. For a second, I was reading it. I was a little brokenhearted. And then I saw that at the end. So that made me feel much better. Thank you very much. Uh, I was like, well, that's very mean. Uh, K Rain would really love to finally win some money from one of these games. Good luck, doll. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now in this game, K Rain. You can do it right now. Let's just do it. Win some money. Perry Stoney, are we ready to raise the bar? I certainly am. Are you? Are you all ready to raise it? It doesn't take a lot of heavy lifting, just a finger, and you just slide it up. You have 100 shots each game to try to get it right. 100 choices, zero to 100. All right, Deets is smooth, pimple, cash flow. Whoa, all righty. All righty, money. I wish this was every day. Well, we're getting there. Truth music. I'm going to try aiming to get the max amount of points wrong on every question. Maybe that'll work for you. If you go, just think like, okay, I think it's 60%. I'm going like zero. Maybe you'll be closer. I don't know. I certainly would be because I'm horrible at playing. Again, that's why I'm here hosting our first category is an icebreaker. It's an icebreaker. We're going to warm up a little bit, get to know our players out there. And it's a really good question. It's a really good question. I, I consistently have the ugliest shirt. April Fool's, but not really. Well, thanks, Elliot. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. Here's my question for everybody. Would you rather have success in love or success in wealth? Love or wealth? What would you rather be successful in love your whole life or wealth? One or the other. This will be an interesting one. Everybody has now voted for first time players out there. Here's where we play the game. Now you have to think what percentage of all the players that just answered right now said love, chose love over wealth. You're going to tell me what you think by sliding from zero to 100. Lock in one of those numbers between there that the percentage that you think chose love, and then we'll reveal the actual answer. And you want to be as close as possible to the actual percentage to hold on to the points. For every point you're off, you'll lose one of your, uh, one of your 500 points. 58%. All right, that's good. That's good. We had a little more on the, on the love than the wealth. Would have been really bad if love was 5%. Wouldn't it have been? Would have been terrible. We should have, you know what we should have done for the April Fool's. By the way, you just wanted to be close to 58%. What we should have done, Jake, Caleb, we could have done like just skewed all the results, made them really crazy. Like made people go, what? <laughs> love? 1%? No. But then that would have really played, uh, thrown the game a bit off. But that would have been really funny. Um, so many negative 16. All right. Um, Courtney, love is your aunt. Says Kenny Clark. I bet not. I bet not. Married 828. Hey, Dees, maybe. Uh, April 11th is my fourth wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Mine is April 6th, and it's my 17. 17. Wait, that's right. 17. Boy. Yes, I got to do. Yes, I'm all right. I think I'm all right. 17. 17 people. I'm good. Guess what? We have a new category. What? Oh, shout out, Granny Shirley. I already found the love of my life, my husband, Harold. So I chose well. All right. I see. If you already have the love, then go wealth. Vice versa, I guess. If you have the wealth, go for the love. Here's a new category for you. It's called This Is How We Do It. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. 
and I feel all right. The party's here on the west side. All right, here's my question. Do you rip off a Band-Aid fast or slow? Fast or slow, do you do, you just gotta get it done with? Or do you just like go slow a little bit at a time and you just eventually get it off in like an hour? Or you just go for it, you just rip it off. I know people have their way to do it. Everybody has now voted. See, a lot of people saying slow, I like right off. Here's what I wanna know though, what percentage of players said slow? What percentage said slow over just ripping it off, getting it done with, ripping it off? It's, it can be painful, it be painful. For us guys, you got like a hairy arm or something, you rip that off and it's not fun, that's not fun. The actual percentage of players that chose slow ripping off their Band-Aid was, let's peak, 39%. That means, that means the majority of people like to rip it off. Rip it off, 39% were slow. You wanted to be close to the 39%, but 61% said, get it off of me as fast as possible. See, that was a good question. I actually thought it'd be the other way. I thought it'd be the other way. I didn't think a lot of many people, 61% would be fast, but right off, says Antorium. Yes, just get that thing off. Get it off. That was kind of fun. That was fun. Band-Aids, Band-Aids. I had a Band-Aid on my finger last week, cut myself, but it's off now and I'm healed just nicely. Thanks for all the well wishes. Perry Stoney, love or wealth deeds? I gotta go with love, people. Love is what makes the world go round. It's all about love. Wealth's not bad, don't get me wrong, but love is where it's at. Here we go, uh, KCAT, you forgot your anniversary, you're in trouble. I didn't forget it, I thought I didn't. I, I was thinking of the years, I was like, no, no, it's 17. I'm 17, 17 years, April 6th. There you go, I didn't mess that up. My wife is watching, you know I was right. All right, I'm good. This next category is called facts you should know. Facts you should know. And the reason it's called facts you should know, little hint here. It's something that you probably should know. You may not, and that's okay. But we're gonna answer it and then see how many people got it right. Which of these numbers represents pie? Not apple pie, not blueberry pie, not peach pie. Pi P-I, pi P-I, what is it? Is it 1.28, 3.14, 5.63, 98.7? What is it? All could be like radio stations, I guess, too. The answer, 3.14. And I don't know the rest. Anybody else know the numbers past that off their head? Nope. What percentage of players correctly got it right? Now you need to think about your audience out there. Think about it. Did they get them all right? Did they know that it's 3.14? I don't know. I don't know. It could be high. Most people, I think, know this. This could be a high number. Let's see. And it probably is going to be like in the 70s, maybe, 60s, 80s, 92. 92, that's one of our higher, I think that's one of our higher ones here. Very good, very good. Everybody knows Pi, there's the Pi Day. We just had Pi Day last month, didn't we? We did. We should have done that question on Pi Day. Damn. We blew it, we really blew it. I'm out of here, guys, the show's over. We screwed up, it's our fault. We take full responsibility for messing that one up. This next category is one of my favorites coming up in a second. Dr. Seven should be called Deets is how, Deets is how we do it. I like that, I like that. Uh, Dirty Deets, done dirt cheap. That's another one that people throw my name in there all the time, but that's a good one. Thank you for that. This next one, one of my favorites, Celebrity Death Match. That's right. <laughs> this round, I'm gonna ask you a question that <laughs> about two people, celebrities, that are in a fight and you just tell me who you think would win. We got a good one here. John Travolta in one corner versus Tom Cruise in the other. Let's get ready to rumble. Who would win in a fight? Who would win? Travolta or Tom Cruise? This is a good one. I, whoa. You know, Tom's a little small, wiry. Travolta a little bigger. I, this is a tough one. Who do you guys think would win? Let's have some fun now. What percentage of players said Travolta? Sandy. Yes, what percentage of players said John Travolta would take out Tom Cruise in a fight? Let's find out. Raise your bar from zero to 100. This is where you play the game. It's not for me to figure out, it's for you to figure out what percentage said Travolta. You ready? Drum roll for Mr. John Travolta winning the fight, the percentage 56th. The majority thought Travolta would take Cruise, take Cruise, but we had a lot of, we had 44% for Cruise. I'd love to hear from that 44%, why you think Cruz would take Travolta? I would have picked Travolta too, probably because of size. But maybe uh, Tom Cruise is more the action star. He does a lot of his stunts. Hmm. You know what? I'm convincing myself the other way right now. Maybe I don't need so much convincing. Hmm. Tom is younger. 
There you go. Tom Cruise is a wimp. Cruise for speed. Out at uh, Travolta. <laughs> Well, come on, people. Be nice. Tom does his own stunt. See, that's where I was going. I was going with that. And you're right. A porcelain Punisher. 3.14159265. Very good. If that was from your head, that's very good. Good for you. I, I don't know. 3.141. At least I got the one after that. Uh, married 828. JT looks more buff. Travolta does look a little more buff. But, you know, John's not a lover, not a fighter. Cat's uh, Travolta will sit on him. <laughs> Guess what? We have a category left, a fun one. Uh, Vola Lee. Tom has literally possibilized every mission that was impossible. <laughs> he's, he's possibilized all those missions over there, Tom Cruise did. He did. Um, this last category is called What Was Deets In? Oh, this is going to be fun, people. This is fun. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a choice of three sitcoms. I was actually in one of them. You guys are going to vote. We may have a little something special. Once we vote, we may play a little clip from it. But which one of these sitcoms was I actually in? Drew Carey Show, Friends, or Roseanne? Oh, there I am. Look at that. All right. Drew Carey, Friends, or Roseanne? What do you think? What do you think? This is our last one of the day here for the win. What is it going to be? Well, I'm about to tell you. It was the Drew Carey Show. I played a boyfriend of Kate, his ex, his girlfriend. Uh, the actual percentage now, what percentage correctly got that right and knew that I was a Drew Carey? Probably not a lot. I don't know. Maybe a lot. Maybe you know. Maybe I've talked about it. I can't remember. There's been so many. There's been so many. I was not in Friends and I was not in Roseanne. That is for sure. Uh, the actual percentage of players that knew and got it right, 49%, almost, almost half. Almost half of you knew. Uh, let's see, Friends, some people thought 33%. Friends would have been awesome. I wish I was in Friends. Tried out for the original back in the day. Uh, Roseanne, 18%. Um, Roseanne, yeah, 18%. I get that one. Drew Carey was 49. Hopefully you were close to 49. And now we have a little treat for you. Here's a little bit. Here's the tiniest clip. Go ahead, Jay. Cue it up. Uh, Cue listen, it Kate, up. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go. There was a fire on Sorority Row, and we have to uh, treat some of the girls for smoke inhalation. Sorority girls? <laughs> that are frightened and homeless? You know, at first I was kind of threatened that your three best friends were men. I feel better now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. For oh, please stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You know what? In the meantime, we've got some winners here. Let's not forget about them. Here they are. Sean Harrington. Sean Harrington. Uh, $52, man. Nice job. And referred by host Raph. Look. Host Raph referred him. Host Raph just won five dollars and twenty-four cents. Good for him. Uh, Lizard Bob Angel, uh, Jamingo Woods, a lot of other winners out there. Big boy, uh, Paper Tigers. Congratulations, guys! Congratulations from us to you. That is how you do it, right there on that winner screen. Tomorrow, oh, refer your friends. Ten percent. You saw that people win ten percent of their friends that they referred if they win and come in first in any of our games. Tomorrow, we got a fast fax with Olivia at three o'clock. We got a word up with Farouk at 4.30 tomorrow. Come back and join us. We also have our $100,000 show on Wednesday. Meantime, go check out our lobby. Change your avatar frames. Go refer some people. Dude, have some fun while we're not here. I'll see you guys again on Wednesday, but make sure you come and see everybody else. Let's say goodbye. Cleveland rocks. Yes, there you go. Uh, Dube, Pete Pie is infinite, just like my love for Deets. Thank you, Dube. I appreciate that. Very sweet, very sweet. Uh, Missy, Missy Mariel Evelyn, if you're successful in love, it isn't overrated at all. It's the cornerstone of your world. This is so sweet, these shout outs here. I'm loving it. Later, six arm priest. Um, handsome then and handsome now. Thank you very much. Rip kill. Does anyone else beat statistics in, in or out and lose the first round four out of five times? Probably, probably, Rip kill, but I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I do. Uh, Jen 11. Hi, Deets. Hello, Jen 11. Thanks for the shout out. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you were great in Port Charles. Thanks, Kenny Clark. Oh, there we go. 3.14. If that's really from your head, I'm super impressed. 3.141590. Look at all that is all I know. Well, that's not all. That's a lot. Good for you.